everyone and welcome to Garden Obsessions. I'm Angie and today I have something very special to show you. Well, for me, very, very special and we're not going to be um, planting anything, but it does have to do very much with the garden. Um, and I thought it was just something fun to do. We haven't had just a little chat. We, we will be recording this for also our, not just Instagram, but for our YouTube garden friends as well, because I didn't want you guys to miss out as well on YouTube. So first of all, I follow a couple of, you know, quite a few people on Instagram and it's, it's just an amazing community as well, you know, there and there I get to know, um, see so many amazing people, not just gardeners, but from so many other things that I love to follow. And um, um, first of all, I want to thank somebody because if it wasn't for her, I wouldn't even know who this wonderful lady is um, that I purchased this from. So a Rosie, um, Rosie Posey Irvin, that is her account name, Instagram account name. Her name's Rosie Irvin, and she's a TV horticulturist um, producer. I think she's also in the UK. And that's where I received the, this package from, the UK. And um, one day she was doing a post um, on her Instagram, and um, she had received um, from, from this wonderful lady a, a package. Um, that I'm going to show you right now from Rowan Charles, Lindsay Cooper. And I want to thank Rosie if she's watching for, you know, being so kind and sharing to everyone because I fell in love with what she showed. And, and Lindsay, Miss Lindsay Cooper. So this is the first time I've opened it. Got a, a letter, a card here. It's the first time I'm, I've opened it. I wanted to do it out in the garden. And I've actually had this for, since yesterday, been dying to open it. I've been trying to keep myself super, super busy. And it's, it's pajamas. This is her, you can see it right there. And these are pajamas and they're just beautiful and they're inspired for the garden. And I thought, why not, let's do a little something different today on the channel and just have a little chit chat and share with you something pretty awesome. So I'm horrible at opening. So I'm sorry. I always hate to, she did such a wonderful job putting it in, in this beautiful paper. And what I love about um, uh, Miss Lindsay is that she loves color so much and so do I. So do I and oh my goodness. Wow. How am I going to open this? I probably should have brought scissors. Oh no, that's easy. So look at that. It comes, this is going to be a rope in here. The AC just happened to turn on, so I hope y'all can hear me. So it's a little bag. How cute is that? always put things in there for I don't know just things makeup Ambrose is gonna go and turn off the AC so he's making his way over <laughs> okay this is just gorgeous gorgeous rope sorry I had to cut because of the AC right now but yes the reason I wanted this so bad is because it's inspired by Frida Kahlo. She is a very well-known um, painter, Mexican painter, not with us any, you know, um, anymore. May she rest in peace. But such a strong woman and just, I, just a wonderful story. If nobody knows of her, Frida, please go ahead and you know look her up. Um, and I just thought this was just wonderful. Look at this. Oh my goodness. So it has birds and just the color and just the greenery, the monkeys. She loved the monkeys and just beautiful. And I thought how wonderful would this be to be wearing this out here. So I think I wanna put it on. I don't know if I have, oh, this is perfect. I have layers and layers of clothes right now because it's a little chilly in the morning. 
Oh, I love it. It's beautiful, Lindsay. It's beautiful. Okay, so so many cuts because it just gets a lot around here and I wanted to actually do this live and it's just not a great time right now. Um, but second pair of pajamas, but I love this so much. So I took the time to tie it there. It just fits perfect. I love it. I had to get a second one. Look at this pattern. Oh, it comes also with it. So all, all her pajamas come with in a little bag. How cute is that? In the same material. So I just think that is the cutest thing ever. If you ever have to go, you know, travel or something, you have somewhere to put, you know, other things. Oh my goodness. And you know, I, I'm always up in the morning walking my garden and I end the day in, out in the garden as well. So, oh, I love this. Oh, these are beautiful. So they have, these are theme, the theme is birds on there. But the color is just gorgeous and that's what caught my attention, all the greenery. I love green so much. And then of course the top, that was the bottom. Beautiful. Isn't that just the most loveliest thing? Her, her work is just beautiful. Um, yeah, so remember, Rowan, Charles, just amazing. And I, I had no idea if she could, if she was able to, um, if she was selling to, to over here to the U.S. And I just went ahead and um, sent her a message. And I was like, I, I, I need this. I, I fell in love with the Frida rope. And I was like, I just, I need it. The one I had seen was in green. And I was just in love with it. And then... I went to her website and saw this and it's just beautiful so you can also find her on Facebook and um, and she's also known as a pajama lady for so before I go I just wanted to say how this is so special to me because it's unbelievable how through Instagram and through other people um, one can connect with so many others you know um, I would never thought I would be you know connecting with somebody from the UK because of, you know, the love that they also have for Frida, um, just like, you know, I do. And it's just, just wonderful. It's just, you know, shows how somehow, you know, we all come together. I'm not gonna keep you any longer. I just wanted to show you this. I'm gonna continue the video on for YouTube um, um, viewers. And that way, you know, if you wanna catch on and see what else, I'm going to go ahead and, and, and continue the video with, with the potting bench that I had spoken about on the community post for YouTube. And I just want to share a little extra with them. Um, if you want to go ahead and see us, you know, catch up on this talk, see us there. I will put the video up later on in the week. So thank you again, Lindsay. It is beautiful. Um, Rowan Charles, um, that's the name of her, you know, of her company. It's just beautiful thank you again so continuing on with our garden friends from YouTube um, I'm gonna go ahead and show you a little bit about what we're doing but before we go over there um, I, I just think it's crazy how all these things just come at the right time um, I've been talking a lot and sharing on posts on Instagram about how sometimes we focus too much and share too much on showing the pretty or just talking about the pretty and Sometimes we miss out on, on showing the real stuff, you know? And this year, my mission is to not not just focus on showing pretty. Um, I, I think we miss out on sharing um, everything in life. And others get inspired by seeing, like somebody told me, how are you going? And, you know, I think so too. How are you going to see progress if you don't? you know look, pay attention to what it was the ugly so and i'm talking about a little area that i would have never ever dr dreamed of even posting pictures of i'm going to take y'all to it i've been working on on this little area still the muddiest area in the garden that little place where you just 
usually becomes a place where you just stick things in because <laughs> you don't know what to do with. And I, I don't believe to just keep it to be that. Um, last year, my daughter and I, we decided, you know, that we wanted to do uh, a water feature here. That didn't happen quite as we planned. So then I said, we're not giving up. We're going to do something special. The tub, the, the tub is still there. We're going to do something, as you can see, not looking lovely right now. I still have plants here that we're working on and putting in other areas. Um, but we did decide to, and I mentioned this on the community post the other day, we did decide to bring out a potting bench that we actually had in North Carolina. Ambrose made me this potting bench. And I've already started to put a couple of things. It's looking a little unleveled, a little wonky right now. Look at the bees. It's a carpenter bee, so it doesn't hurt, but he's, they're always around. But I've already, before I even leveled it, I'm already putting things on it. It happens, right? Um, but yes, this has a story and I wanted to share with y'all because we're not doing any planting right now. But I, we never get to share just a little chat and walk about. So this one right here was almost free. Um, I remember he all he had to do was stain it and paint it in the little knickknacks that he put in their hooks and he actually even put a, um, a bottle opener here that he found in a beach store back in North Carolina how pretty is that because we don't just use it as a as a potting bench we also use it you know when we're out here barbecuing drinks you know whatever snacks for the kids but um I remember I was telling everyone on the post how I remember um, on the we were living on a military base in, in North Carolina and everyone's always moving. There's a, a lot of people that are always moving constantly. That's that's you know, that's life in the military. And there was um, three two Ambrose says it's three houses down. Somebody had just they were throwing out a bunch of wooden pallets and random wood pieces, which here you see, I remember with a little uh, little red wagon, I made my way after like four trips, I think, back and forth, back and forth, very hot day too. Um, I just grabbed it all and put it on the side of the house. And I told Ambrose, he knew, he knew that I, what I wanted. I had been eyeing a, a potting bench from Pottery Barn like for the longest time. Um... But yeah, I'm not about to spend that much for a potting bench. They're, they're super expensive from Pottery Barn. And how we move, they break it. They always break things down. And sometimes we've lost so much and so much got damaged. Um, and this was in pieces. When we arrived here, it was just pieces. They took every little thing apart, every pallet, everything. And I thought it was a goner. I was so sad. It was just tossed to the side. Ambrose told me, I'm not getting rid of it. We are going to figure it out. I'm going to put it together for you again. And he did. And here it is. I just need to, you know, just level it out. Still good. And I said, why not? You know what? I was going to continue all this little garden area, the wall over. But I said, no, I, I, I think we need something like this here. Um, with the style that I have and what I need for the garden. And, you know, there you go, guys. But I just wanted to show y'all, you know, what we're up to and what we're doing. And, you know, wanted to share about the pajamas. And, you know, um, I'm just very happy about getting to know other people from other parts of the world. And I know we do have people in the UK that follow us. Um, and, and it just makes me happy when I get to, um, we get to communicate with you guys. And you guys tell me what's going on in your area, in your part of the world, and from other, all other parts of the world. Like somebody from, I think, South Africa had left a comment, um, I think, this morning. It's just, it warms up my heart to be able to, to connect with people from everywhere. Um, so I think I'll leave it here. I just wanted to say hi. And we'll make it a habit of, look at this little guy. We'll make it a habit of doing these little chats once in a while. And once again to Miss Lindsay Cooper from Rowan, Rowan Charles. Thank you so much. I will be linking everything down below. So if anyone is interested in her beautiful pieces, you can go and see her. So thank you very much and have a wonderful, wonderful day. Remember everyone, bloom where you are planted.